So I came across this little abandoned bike. It was in my neighbor's yard. So I took today we are gonna be making this into a pretty cool e-bike. And this video is sponsored by Timu. So they sent virtually all the parts that I'm using for this bike. Every time I use a part from Timu, I'll put up a little QR code that you can scan. Just gotta download the app, put in my code in the search bar, and they'll give you a hundred bucks and a list of the parts for this build. So the heart and soul of this bike will be the 72 volt, 46 quadrillion watt motor. Uh, we got the kind of the generic um, motor driver. Okay, so I think before we even touch the bike, we should make sure that we can get this thing to spin. And one thing I didn't get is a battery. Those are kind of pricey. So I think I'm gonna have to steal from that thing. Well, that was weird. Um, so the motor, the controller, and the throttle actually all came as one kit off Timu. That's in. Okay, the moment of truth. It says we have some battery. The controller actually has a motor enable. I so saw I just threw a jumper in there for now. <laughs> It's kind of got like an acceleration to it, which is kind of interesting. All right guys, so I had the idea of instead of finding some weird way of mounting the battery itself, I'm just gonna mount the entire charger to the bike. Um, that way I have this whole interface already there. So I'm gonna modify this a little bit. I'm gonna make it so there's a switch that switches between power to charge the batteries and then power from the battery to the motors, if that makes sense. There we go. So I did a little bit of surgery. I crimped some wires, drilled some holes. Oh crap. Oh, I just completely destroyed that fan. The fan was destroyed, but not my spirits. Since a bunch of fins broke off, I'm breaking off more fins to keep the balance. And then I used some JB putty some JB putty. Okay, so I think I have this thing figured out. I updated this with a, a cool little D plug here. And then here's our little master switch. And then in this mode, we should twist this and nothing should happen. Let's switch this back. Now we are in drive mode. Sweet. Off camera, I cut out this uh, metal bracket and then that screws through the entire charger. I then had to decide where exactly I wanted this thing. I could have made a rack for it, but I'm too lazy. And just like that, we're charging the battery. Timu also sent me a jack shaft kit for a motorized bike. And this actually has a freewheel attached to the sprocket cassette. So what this does is it decouples the pedals from the crank itself. So the motor can drive this independently without having the pedals rotate. Pretty cool, right? Any Styro Pyro fans? Well, the electric motor comes with a different sprocket. So I had to buy a new one. And so this will be replacing that outer ring on the crank. So I 3D printed this nifty jig, and this will help me center my plasma cutter. Oh yeah. And then big bada boom. So okay, so it's not perfect, but I think it should be all right. Next, I cut out a motor mount, and that's pretty easy just to line it up with the chain on there and then weld the plate straight to the frame. Since that outer sprocket had a little too much to drink, I'm gonna have to add a chain tensioner. So I cut out a little bracket and then weld that to the frame as well. Okay, so now that I got the motor mounted and the chain lined up and everything like that, I'm gonna focus on getting this monstrosity, something like that. I think I can use the accessory bolts on the original bike for the bottom mount, and then for the top part, I cut out a couple little tiny tabs and they will just kind of weld on just like so. 
I forgot to plug in my mic, so there's no audio for this part. Zip. Zip. I got the throttle hooked up, the chain lined up, and this puppy mounted. Let's hear what it sounds like. Jeez, that thing, that is, that sounds scary. All right, so I recently posted a short of this setup right here, and people were saying that the chain tensioner is on backwards, so yeah, that makes sense, because usually it goes on this side, so that's my bad. I'm gonna flip that over, hopefully it still fits. To get this on the road is just a few more things. I had to switch out that Halloween costume of a seat. I put some new tubes and tires on there, because who knows how long these have been sitting abandoned in my neighbor's garage. All right, so I got a full charge. We're ready to go. Let's test this thing out. So pretty much immediately, the, the throttle kept kind of intermittently shutting off. I'm thinking the battery had some sort of high current, uh, high current shut off. Oh, it just completely cut out. And looking at the battery <laughs> that sucker is completely dead oh boy back to the drawing board and we're getting the red blinks of death i don't think this uh, battery is alive anymore i did what i was trying to avoid and that was order a proper battery and then make a rack for the new battery so i'm going to take off the lawnmower stuff um i'm just gonna bend up some tube we cut we bend we measure should be a pretty simple rack <laughs> All right, you guys get the idea. I went and bought a 20 amp hour lithium ion battery to replace that little lawnmower battery. And guys, this thing is mean. So we have all these gears, but to be honest, I really only see myself using first gear. It has plenty of torque and then gets you going plenty fast. Uh -oh. This thing has no business going that fast, especially on like a Walmart bicycle frame. All right, so I'm reviewing the footage and my stupid head just didn't look down far enough to look at the speedometer, but I was recording it. Check this out, 52.75 max speed. 50 miles an hour feels so fast on a bike. So you can not shift gears, it shifts pretty nicely. Um, in first gear, I got around 45 miles per hour out of it. In second gear, that's where we hit that 53. And then I did try third and I, I, I got around 50 and then cut out. I just didn't feel like going any faster. I don't wanna go faster on this bike, but it could certainly go faster if we wanted to. 